hello guys welcome to my channel oktest.com and here in this video i am going to demonstrate how we can upload any file type to the server inside www root folder using asp.net core web api so here is my code you can see this is my endpoint this is the account controller and this is the complete code and here you can see this is my parameter upload file and in this upload file i have taken one property of a string type and here line number 508 i am getting the index number of the base 64 string okay and now uh, at the next line i am getting or removing the signature from the base 64 string to to get the actual base 64 string after removal of the signature and here at line number 511 i am getting the index number of the first occurred string of semicolon and that index number i am passing in the in the base 64 string and from there i am getting all the data which is available before the semicolon the first semicolon okay and at the next line at 513 i am again getting the index number of the the slash you can see here i am passing the index number plus one value because i want to actually i do not want to get the slash value in this extension okay so that's why i have added here one and in the same way i have also added here you can see because i do not want to get comma right in the uh, actual base 64 string which i am getting after the comma the value which are coming after the comma here at line number 516 i am converting the base 64 string which is available without signature into the byte array and that byte array i am writing to the location of ww root folder and inside that root folder it will name it automatically xyz and with the extension what i have just fetched from the base 64 string okay and here i am passing the next parameter as bytes and that thing will be saved and then from here i am returning the value so let me let me um, show you the demonstration by passing the base 64 string so to, to convert the base 64 string i need to go to browser here and you can see here base 64 guru i have opened here and this is the file to base 64 conversion platform for online conversion so here i will choose my file And here I would like to say you one thing that if you want to uh, get the base 64 string with signature then I have already created one video what you can use to get the base 64 string and that video is related to convert any file into the base 64 string. I will uh, you can see that link at the top right corner as card or you can also find that link in the description section. So first I am uploading this png file okay and then i will save it so here you can see this is a dot png extension file and here i will choose this one okay data content type with base 64 okay this is basically also attached the signature with the base 64 string and now i will click on encode file now you can see the file got converted into base 64 string here and i will copy all the string from here just after clicking on the copy link and i will paste it in the postman so you can see this is the postman and this from here i will call that endpoint now you can see this is the base 64 signature and rest all the data which is available after comma is the actual base 64 string now i will click on send button to send the data to the server now you can see it has come at my breakpoint so you can see just here from 
hovering the mouse you can see I have got the data in the file as base64 and now I will run by line by line I will go here and now you can see this is the index with value of 21 and because the comma it found at the 21 21st position and after that comma it will get the complete signature you can see it has just removed the signature from the base64 string and that string is stored in base64 string without signature variable and now at the next line I will get the index value of semicolon the first semicolon so now you can see the index value is now 14 and 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 here I am getting the value uh, as a base64 signature you can see this is the complete signature this is the complete base64 signature and this signature I am getting because the initial value here I have passed as substring is from the 0th position and the last value I have passed the 14 what I have just received from the index and now I will go again in the next line here you can see the slice value or the index of slice is 10 so from here you can see this is slice and and from here I need to get the PNG only so at the next line you can see I have got the extension as PNG and now uh, this line will convert it as byte array okay now you can see now the complete data is converted into the byte and from now I will save it in the xyz.png so you can see here this is the png file already available here and so now I will show you to upload any different kind of or any different file extension now I will upload mp4 file okay so I have selected here mp4 file which is approximately 1.5 mb and here again I will select the second option and from here I will click on encode file to base64 you can see here now uh, the file is converted into base64 and now I will copy from here by clicking on copy link and I will go ahead here and here I will remove this data okay and now I will paste here the mp4 file base64 string you can see here now the signature is different with the extension of mp4 so now I will again send the data to server and it should, it should reach again to the breakpoint and here it has reached okay so now again I will go line by line okay and now you can see it is saving the data okay and here you can see now this is the xyz.mp4 file is saved inside the www root folder and now I will click on continue okay and here I would like to so uh, tell you one thing here if you in your project you do not find the www root folder www root folder then you have to create it manually at the root of your project so you can see here it is available here at the root of my project okay and inside that I am having two files so that's all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you